Are we developers or are we just fanboys? Let's talk about it. Hey guys, it's your boy Joe back at it again, codingphase.com, the one and only. Okay, you already know. Subscribe to the channel, give this a like, but let's get into it, man. People are too loyal to a framework, too loyal to a language, too loyal to a community. And I think they're forgetting that they're web developers they're software engineers you're not supposed to be attached to anything you're supposed to be able to use these things as tools okay now i had a comment here from an individual and the individual says something like this he said coding face two years ago learn react bro you're not going to get by with angular coding face now learn angular and php right now mind you i want to clear this up when i was telling people hey you might not want to be focusing on angular was because there was a huge opportunity with react and that was years ago that wasn't two years ago that was years ago okay i've been here for six years i know it's been a while guys um but basically at the time there was a moment in you know in the history of development that you show up to an interview and say, well, I know React and people would just come in and ah, we got to give them a job. And you see people coming in with the golden hookah and, and people are carrying you around and say, hip, hip, hooray, hip, hip, hooray. <laughs> like, you know what I mean? Like, just because you know React, there was a point where it was like that. But not in 2023 when people have milked the shit out of React everywhere from boot camps to uh freaking youtube tiktok instagram like they don't milk <laughs> you know react out of everything that it got right so what happened with that a lot of people learned this skill react is at a point where react is almost as much as knowing like javascript knowing react in 2023 is like having a an associate from a community college or getting your gd it's like yeah, you got that, but I don't make you special, right? Because everyone else has that same thing. So when I come in here and I give an advice, I have to go in and look at the market. And who's better than me to see what's happening in the market for people like me? I don't know about other people's, right? I don't know about a guy going to Stanford, graduating MIT. I'm talking about people like me that's coming from the mud that's building themselves up and getting into the tech industry, right? A range from 24 years old to 54 years old, right? The dudes that already got families, the dudes that is already, you know, they left college, they, they dropped out of high school. Like this is the, the audience, the people that's working regular jobs that's now switching careers and saying, shoot, why am I busting my back over here when I could really be working in the tech industry and getting AC at home? That's my audience. So my advice is always going to change. My advice is not connected to a framework, to a language, to a community. You know why? Because my responsibility is not for me getting views or me giving you what you want. My responsibility is for those that are watching this channel, that good 10%. There's people that are at home that have three, four, five years, right? trying to do something they never did anything that's not a problem that it's on me it's a problem on you it's a problem that you might have for example like if you was in here four years ago when i was telling people hey man learn react get into this learn this skill build this type of portfolio apply to this type of company that was an opportunity there that was a little window that was there at that moment if it took you four years to go in and learn react that's a problem that you have that's a you problem you extended it it's the same thing right now with html emails right if i go in and i've been telling you guys for the past five six years guys there's a great opportunity with html email development right it's a window that's open right there right that every single one of you guys can use to get your first job in the tech industry maybe ai 
right? And a couple of the tools that's out there in three years from now, right? Maybe there'll be a whole bunch of very simple ways to create HTML emails. And guess what? People are not going to pay you, you know, eight hours out of your day when you can do the job in half an hour. So they're going to ask for more things for you, right? And that's where this conversation comes in, the real conversation, right? Pay attention to this, guys. Those opportunities that you were able to just get in with just a simple portfolio with just HTML emails and be able to just get into a job fairly quickly, three to four years from now, it's not going to be as simple as that. This is what's happening with React, right? And that's why now in 2023, when I say, hey, man, maybe you should start paying attention to Angular because I'm seeing that no one is really paying attention to Angular. The jobs are still there. There's a whole bunch of legacy code that you could get into, right? And, you know, maintain applications, you know, kill some bugs, you know, fix some tickets that they throw at you, right? Shoot, you get your first job. But going this other route right now just doesn't make sense. Not in 2023. It just doesn't make sense if you want to get a job fairly quickly. Again, if you're a poppy mommy kid or you're one of those dudes that don't mind putting in three to four years in your house, you might as well go go to college. If you the type of dude that man, I got time. I'm 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 34 years old. I got time. I'm you know I'll, I'll become a developer by the time of 41. If you're that guy, go to college, go get yourself a degree. A degree is always good. It's always going to be good, right? You got that type of time. But for someone like me, I don't have that time. I have to look for opportunities to get in now. I got to pay my bills on Friday. I got to go in and pay my, my mortgage on the first. I got to pay my, you know, car loan on the 15. You get what I'm saying? That type of individual, he don't have that time to just sit here and suck on his thumb all year long, you know, trying to figure out, see who's going to go in and, and, you know, give him an opportunity. There's dudes that's waiting here for two, three years, waiting for an opportunity. That's not what we're here for. That's not what this channel's for. We're trying to get in ASAP and we're trying to make some bread ASAP because believe it or not, programming is not hard. Coding is not hard. Becoming a developer is not hard. It's just about who is your instructor? Who is the person that's teaching you? Who is the person that that is breaking it down to you right sometimes you see people that don't have degrees from man i went to mit i went to uh columbia university i went to stanford but they can't teach for shit. right i'm telling you from experience right when i was going to college i had a professor teaching us a freaking calculus tool right and the dude had all the type of degrees that you could think of right and when he was teaching us about calculus too, everybody's looking around like, yo, we all going to fail this shit because the teacher sucked. But there was a little Chinese kid. I gave him $50. He came in, he broke it down. You know how this, this is a Chinese kid. He just came off the boat <laughs> straight from China. He's like, yo, he's like, I know this shit. Like he's everybody sweating bullets. And, and, and there's a little Chinese kid in the back, like. I got this. You know what I mean? Shout out to him. I say, yo, my guy, yo, you you understand this? Like, yeah, I did this in third grade. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Shout out to the to the Chinese, man. <laughs> Shout out to everybody in Asia. Yo, they be, I don't know what they do over there, but they really got some good education. They really know how to teach them, right? So dude comes in, goes in, boom, 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 breaks it down. Yo, this is how you do it. This is the formula. Don't look at this. Whatever he's teaching. He's making it more complicated. Boom. He broke it down to me to the T. Like, literally, like, I went in and, and got myself an A in calculus, too, where I was sweating bullets. But it was just about who was breaking it down to me, right? The kid knew how to teach. The kid knew how to make it simple for someone like myself that don't have a, a, a background in, you know, hey, I went to AP class. I went to this. No, I'm lucky I... You know, I graduated out of freaking high school. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> dudes is bringing the blickies into school. Dudes is fighting on the second floor. Dudes is throwing chairs off the roof. Like, that's the type of high school I went to. So, I ain't coming from AP class. 
I'm coming from like, yo, bro, I, I passed pre-algebra like by luck. You know what I mean? I, I gave the teacher Apple type shit. <laughs> the, the teacher gave me a, a, a C plus after that. You know what I'm saying? So again, so the, the dude broke it down for me. And the same thing with, with coding, man. Right? Sometimes you just need somebody that can really break this, this shit down. I mean, again, and this is what we do at codingphase.com, shameless plug, right? But that's what it is. That's what I try to do to people and, and teach them over there and, and breaking it down for them, right? But again, going back to the advice that I give here is really to get people like myself results. I'm not trying to give results to the poppy mommy kids. I'm not trying to give results to the dude that's in MIT and this is that. Like that dude, he has his own path. There's Joma Tech. There's um, who else? Shit, go to tech, <laughs> go, go to tech league, go to <laughs> who else? One of those dudes. You get what I'm saying? Like those dudes got you. You get what I'm saying? Shout out to my boy Nick White. Could give you some good advice, right? Um, but again, for people like me, my background coming up. We coming off the mud, like they, we got a different road, my guy. We got a different road, and we gotta figure out how do we get a job as soon as possible. We can't sit down waiting until somebody gives us a chance and react. Nah, we gotta make it happen. Shoot, I got bills to pay. I gotta figure out. Oh, cool. There's a demand on Angular. Cool, let's do Angular. I'm not a fan of anything. If I wanna code on my own shit, I do it on my own time. When I gotta go to work and get that bag. I want to get that 85,000, 100,000, 120,000. Oh, you need me to do Angular? You do need me to do some C Sharp? You need me to do some, some Java? Cool, I'm your guy. I, I, I'll come in there, you know what I mean, and, and get the work done. You know what I'm saying? So again, guys, my advice is really from that moment, right? Like, if I give you an advice today, understand that's today. If you come in and you watch the video four years from now, that might not be the right case in 2027 or something like that okay so keep that in mind and again i'm here to help beginners i'm not here to try to help the poppy mommy kids i'm not trying to help the guys as a mid-level senior level like you guys know how to do this already this is my audience the audience that wants and needs that help and is looking for quick results okay to be able to get in and to be able to start building experience okay and again all of the advice that i i get to put over here on this channel is really from a lot of research sometimes some of you guys think i'm like a, a, a loquito a loquito means like some random crazy kid just bumping off the walls and he's like D damn joe's just pulled this shit out his ass and again it's like no <laughs> I'm like literally constantly looking through all the emails, all my students, all the students that came in, you know, and it's like, yo, I'm, I'm trying to get this job as a React developer and I see their journey. Man, it takes them freaking 12, 13 months to get a job. And I'm not seeing the same thing from other students that's doing email development or they're doing Shopify development. So now I come in with that data and also from the research I do on all the different job boards and asking people on LinkedIn and creating portfolios and creating profiles online to see applying to different jobs. Like I do a lot of shit that is behind the scenes that you guys don't see, right? To try to figure out what's the best way for my students. Because, yes, I give a, guy, a lot of advice here on YouTube, but it's really to get people results from codingphase.com. Okay, so I go the extra mile from my students, and then I give you guys advice here for free, right, of the knowledge and, and, and the information that I get from my students. I should just go in and just put that just on coding phase, not give it to everybody, but I give it to everybody because I feel like, guess what? Even if you don't take my courses, even if you don't put a dollar in my pocket, even if you don't go in and, 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 and do anything for me, shit, you don't even give this video a like, right? I want to go in and try to help you out some type of way. Cause then later on, when you do follow my advice and follow what we have given here, you'll come back in and say, damn, I ain't take no courses from coding phase, but Yo, my guy, go check him out. He's actually legit. You know, I was taking courses from this guy and this guy, but I follow his advice to be able to find my first job. So even though I didn't get to find him before I already signed up to all of his platforms, shoot, he helped me get a job. And I hear that all the time. This is no cap. I could go right now and pull up my comment section. You'll see a whole bunch of people that be like, yo, Joe, shoot, I wish I would have found you three years ago. 
But your advice that you gave me, shoot, it helped me find my job very quickly. It helped me find an opportunity and this, this, and that. You was right, Joe. I just got my first interview. Everything you say on the portfolio reviews was right. I went in, I changed my portfolio. As soon as I did that, I started getting freaking interviews. Like, you get what I'm saying? I give a lot of content, a lot of information here on YouTube and a lot of good advice to really show that, guess what? I am an authority in this field, right? And again, I can go in and help people that's like me, that's coming from my background, that's trying to get in. And I'm showing them like, hey, if you follow what I say, you're going to see some results. Now, it's not a guarantee uh, thing where it's like, man, are you going to get a job by tomorrow? Bro, you just came home. You did 10 years in a bit, right? Or you were doing just did some embezzlement at a company. Your journey is a little bit different, right? You're the dude that you never even turned on a computer in the last 10 years. Guess what? We got to start you off slowly. We got to show you how to use the internet. You know what I'm saying? Everyone has a different background, right? The guy that been doing this, maybe he was like, you know, on his computer. He was cracking Photoshop and cracking Adobe After Effects. And he was getting free, you know, I don't know, free software online and using Kaza. He's a little bit more tech savvy than the guy that was outside in the street. So everyone has a different journey. But again, if you want to do this, you can do this. This is not magic. This is not nothing special. This is not a gift. This is not a talent. This is not something you were born with. This is something that you trained yourself with. And having the right instructor it's what really gets you into the game, right? So again, if you guys want to check out what we do, check out codingphase.com, right? Check out what we do over there. Literally, you know, we don't we don't teach coding as a hobby. That's my number one thing. You know that when you come here, it's not about learning how to code. It's learning a skill to be able to make money with either by getting a job or start freelancing or start building your own company. That's it. That's my motto. We don't teach coding as a hobby. You can do that in every other platform and you could go and try that out. You could go on YouTube and do that shit for free. Okay. If you're looking for results and you're looking to get into the game, right. And you want to start making money with this skill, because again, it is profitable, right. Then you want to go in and you want to try out codingphase.com guys. All right. So anyways, man, it's your boy, Joe back at it again, codingphase.com. Love you guys. Thank you for the comment. You just gave me you know, a new topic to talk about. I love reading everybody's comment, the good, the bad ones. So leave something there. Um, also to give this a like and subscribe to the channel. We're almost at a hundred thousand subscribers. I think we're like at 99,000 or like 98.8.9 or something like that. So we're almost at a hundred thousand, um, subscribers. So that'll be cool if we do that by next month. All right. I'll see you guys later. It's your boy, Joe. Peace.